Mackenzie Pavisic here inside T-Mobile Arena, joined by Anne Still, flyweight champion of the world, Alexandre Pantoja. Alexandre, five-round war. Was that what you were expecting tonight? I love that. I love McWars, you know. This is the new Coliseo. I say that, you know. I can see this arena uh, from my room. And uh, I, I, the, the colors the, for T-Mobile Arena remember the Coliseo, you know. And uh, before I come to fight today, I watch Gladiator movie and I feel so excited to come here tonight and uh, make this fight like that, you know. Rival uh, deserve all my respect. I fight with this guy two years ago and uh, he grew up so much, you know, this level. He put a uh, high level in this sport, you know. In this division, flyweight division, that's it, you know, high level division in this sport, you know. All, all the fight is very close. I say all the time, maybe the number 10, 10 can come in and beat me, you know. And uh, that's making me work very hard in the gym. I see all my partners, thank you so much, you know, to give me the high times in the gym. I'm from America Top Team, the best gym in the world. And uh, I'm very glad to, to keep this belt for Brazil. Earlier this week, you told me that, you know, in the gym, you, you lose sometimes and that you love that. You have people that can push you and beat you. And that kind of keeps you in a place where you are reminded that you're not invincible, right? How much does that mindset and that training environment play into your dominance as champion? Exactly what I do today, you know. I say when I'm back to, to my little vacation after I take the belt from Moreno, I lose 100 times. And now I'm the champion of the world again, you know. I prove one more time and uh, fight to rival. I try to finish this guy a couple of times. He feel my hands, but he keep coming, you know. He, he, he read to, to die in this arena, you know, and uh, that's why I love this sport, you know. And uh, I tried to finish it a couple of times, Kataka Tami, and uh, need a choke in the fourth round. And he keep coming, you know. Uh, I love that. I, I love this patient for the, this kid, you know. He never give up. And uh, this is high-level sport, you know. I, I love to be a part of that. Uh, all the time when I go to sleep, I say thank you, God, for everything you give to me. Uh, my, my history with the, with the fight, I fight for 16 years, you know. My first fight in MMA went to, uh, to uh, 2007, when I have 17 years. And I, I keep here in high-level sport. Uh, have this flag with me, Brazil, you know. I say all the time, Brazil needed some needed idols right now, you know. And I, I, I try to be this idol right now, you know. And I prove the family is more important thing you have in, in your, your life. Well, you are the first flyweight champion to make a successful title defense since November of 2020, I believe. Davison Figueiredo was the last one to make a successful defense. Other than that, it's just gone back and forth between people. So when it comes to stability in the division with you as champion, what does that do for the flyweight division with you staying on top? Hard work, you know, right now, these kids is, like I say, this is one of the best division ever, you know, you see tonight, this guy is ready to, to die, ready to kill. He, he tried to kill me a couple of times too. I, I hit his very hard and uh, he, he catch and come, still coming, you know. He never give up, you know. Uh, I'm very happy to be part of the UFC, you know. What these guys give to us, you know. This entertainment, this big show for everyone. Uh, I love to be part and uh, I know my, last, uh, my, my next fight is going to be war again, you know. Okay, I, I say to my coach, coach, how long I can stay fight like that, you know? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, relax. Uh, after one week, you go back to the gym and want to kill everybody again, you know? And uh, I'm very happy to do one fight like that, you know? Uh, last card of the year, I think it's the one of the best cards ever. And uh, thank you, thank you everybody, you know? Uh, my wish for Christmas uh, is a uh, fight in Brazil next time, you know? Uh, I know he's prepared for some cards in Brazil, maybe May, in Rio de Janeiro, my town. Uh, that's my wish. Well, you were there as the backup fighter in January. It would be incredible to have you in Rio. Now, when you look ahead to 2024, what does the next year look like for you? Uh, you have uh, good names in this division, a lot of good names. You have Brandon Moreno watch my fight again. He's uh, one of the backup this guy, uh, for the fight. Uh, I have a tough opponent, Almiro Bazi, very dangerous fight. Uh, but you have like uh, awesome names like uh, uh, Kai Kerr France, Manuel Cape, uh, Matheus Nicolau, 
very inter entertainment guys. I love I love this division. Keep it his life. Uh, make one fight like that tonight, and uh, fight with uh, Donald Trump. Watch my fight. <laughs> when I'm young, I never expect something like that. You know, you, you see uh, the former president from U.S. Ah, I, I'm I'm so happy. I'm one of the more people happy in the world right now. You know, thank you. Just gr grateful to be part of the UFC.